Hello everyone, welcome to another episode, another week of We Love Our Kids But. We love our kids, but. I wasn't going to say anything this time. Yeah, this week has been crazy because it's Halloween, so we love our kids, but I'm glad they're in school. I'm glad they're in school. We love our kids and, at this point, and we make sure they have a good time. (laughs) Yeah, they had a great time. They had a great time. So, in today's episode, guys, we are going to be talking about kind of a heavy subject, but I think we can make it entertaining and uh, not depressing. (laughs) You know, heavy doesn't have to be entertaining. Heavy can just be thought-provoking. I like to talk about things that are real and relatable. I don't like to skirt around subjects. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I cannot stop looking at your giant eye crusty. Giant eye crusty. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry about that. Cut that out the video. Cut. No, yeah. (laughs) Sexy. (laughs) I get it? Oh, okay. Wow. Doesn't look like you're looking for something (laughs) on your face. (laughs) Okay. This I is, think I'm going to have to help you. Go ahead. This is very, no, but I gotta get. I don't want to poke you in the. Very I'm, embarrassing. I'm back in two point five seconds. I don't very, want to poke you in the eye. Very, very <laughs> embarrassing. Let's keep this in the video. Most people would cut this out because they want to look perfect, but I've got eye crusties apparently, and uh, it's kind of weird that I'm looking at the camera right now. I hope she comes in faster. I don't we'll want get, to poke you in okay, the eye. Okay, there we go. So Good. Okay. This, but All right. Can you not look down? Because I can't see. Pretty, pretty bad in there. Pretty, uh, yeah, I like, guess. Like down your cheek type bad. I just feel like you gave me surgery, so. Is this what the girls feel? They're like, okay. ow, mama, ow. Wow, okay. Ow, ow. How am I now? Oh, you look like you woke up already. I'm now. better. You look awake. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we finally got that resolved. We got eye crusties uh, falling apart here, guys. Falling apart. But I think what we can talk about here is how, you know, most people want to present the best version of themselves that really doesn't exist. They they clean up their face with all these filters. They sir. Oh, I'm about all... to say I'm going to clean their face. You shouldn't. You should wash your face. No, no, no I'm talking about have... in photos. I know. I get it now. When you said that, I was like, clean up your face. Well, I think we're the type of family to like. This is uh, well, one. I don't really care what people think about me out there. I mean, I want them to like. I hope you guys like me, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people like. I don't like Justin. He means he doesn't care what you guys think he looks like, which. No, I can't this, help the way he looks. But this is what I look this like. This is what he looks like. So if I wake up in the morning and I'm happy with myself, that is the best thing in life. Because if you wake up and you're not happy with yourself and you want to change that person, you're constantly living within that body that you want to change. They That's out, not But good. then they run out and change it, so... Then they're happy, I guess. I <laughs> they run out and change it, spend a lot of money, or they disrupt their face... It looks like construction is done on their face. What I'm trying to say with the eye crusty thing is that I think that's funny. It's basically relatable. A lot of us wake up and we have, although it's later in the day and I should have already, like, it's not 8 a.m., guys. It's like... You're putting yourself in a hole because they're like, you probably should have washed your face, Justin, before you sat down here. Yeah, I did brush my teeth, guys. I did brush my teeth, but... I'm not going there. I'm just not going to... I'm just going to... But what do you want to say about, you know, people... A lot of families, a lot of quote unquote influencers, entertainers, they want to present the best version of themselves always for likes or, you know. I mean, for the most part, I want to present the best version of myself always, but the best real version, if that makes sense. So in saying that, if I am doing a certain thing or if I'm dressed a certain way, because that's how I've been dressed all day. Like, I didn't go get dressed for you guys. Sorry. Sure. I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> that makes sense. So you're saying do it without hyperbole, without yeah, like don't run and be like, oh, I gotta get dressed for the gram. Like if you're wearing that, then wear it. So typically, like I'm wearing what I'm wearing, and I'm like, oh, that thing, this looks cute. Let me take a picture. But then I go about my life in mm-hmm. what I'm wearing. So yes, do it without doing it for the gram, for the for the thing. But if that's your authentic self and that's who you like to be, then great, I applaud it. Like I like to be put together, but there's times that I'm not and that my hair is messy or I didn't I didn't take it out of bun and I'm fine with that too. I think we've talked about it before, but <laughs> I'm all for people cleaning themselves up, quote unquote, online, if it truly makes them feel better. Like I think some women, they present more of their, uh, they'll, they'll show more of their body but if they look at their body, they're like, man, I really love my body. If other people might say, oh, it's gratuitous or you're showing too much. But if that person, if it makes them feel good, then I'm all for that. Because I think positive mental reflection and self-image is, is important. For Self, me... Self-care and self aggradation yep. is... It's important. Oh, it's important. For me, I just... I like who I am. Like, I'm bald. Who cares? I never thought I'd be a bald guy. When I was younger, I'm like, you're going to grow up and be bald. I'm like, 
There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be bald. I don't know how you ever thought there's no way. Like people get old. Yeah, but when I was I'm young, not saying you're old. Yeah, but Sorry. when I was younger, I never thought. Okay, later in life, you're gonna shave your head because you're gonna be you're gonna be a bald guy. <laughs> I'd be like, get the f- out of here. There's no way. But here I am, and I'm happy, bald guy. I've got you know more salt than pepper in my beard these days. Unless I diet. Sometimes I do diet. So I don't. I don't mind telling you guys. I gotta get a good diet because sometimes I diet and it's all black. I look like a werewolf. <laughs> Sometimes I dye and it comes in like nice. And it's a weird thing when I'm in the shower and I'm and I'm like getting all the dye out. And I'm all I'm thinking to myself when I get out, is this gonna look like a werewolf or is it gonna look good? Because you is don't it know it's like you a do. painted on beard or yeah. is it going to look natural? But but I think that's funny. And the kids make fun of me, they're just like, you know, dad You're dyes like, oh, beard. Oh, you just dyed your beard again, huh? Yeah. But positive self-image is is important, especially in this day of age where there's always somebody fitter or in better shape or like all these things how do you think about that as as a woman it's really it's more competitive the landscape than men it is but my whole idea about it and this may sound strange coming from me who just said i like to present myself well is even though i like to do that it is not the end all and be all for me yes i like to present myself in my best self i like to look my best self i like to be my best self physically like outwardly but if i feel like crap on the inside or i feel like then Again, then it doesn't matter. That's why I say it's not the end all and be all for me. I am doing that because I'm already happy mm-hmm. inside. Like I'm, I don't have any mental thing that's making me feel unhappy or sad or depressed or some. Or if I do get in the mood, like I will work myself out of it. So that part is way more taken care of for me and more important than me than the outward, which is why when I say I like to present myself well, it's because I'm already presenting myself to myself internally well. Mm-hmm. I feel well. Mm-hmm. And I want to put that same energy into outwardly. As long as that is the case, like I'd hate to see somebody who's so put together externally. And you're just like, wow, they're in shape. This is this and this. But their life's really falling apart, you know, offline. Well, that can be a lot of people. And I think for some of these people, like I said, positive self-image of viewing themselves on on Instagram or whatever, it could be important to them. It could be the fake it till you make it. It could be helping them get past whatever. But for me, I think humor is a bigger part of my life. Like when I look at my avatar for Instagram or Facebook, it's me with a silly hat on and a spoon in my hand pretending mm-hmm. it's a microphone. But that's that's kind of, I want to make fun of myself at this point in life. I don't want to look at myself and say, you know, do people think I'm good looking? <laughs> that, that, that part he's, of my... He's saying he's given up on that part of my, in that way. That, I'm married. That part of my life was a long time ago. Oh, excuse me. 15 years Listen, ago, I thought I was, I was a, I was a you, When you say things... I was Fabio. You definitely weren't. <laughs> but when you say things like you're married... And your your married spouse, your partner sitting right here. And I'm oh, just yeah. kind of looking at you like, are you just saying like, yeah, I don't care anymore. Like, well, obviously I do care. I mean, no, but, I mean, but listen to how that sounds. Oh, okay. I'm married now, so you know it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I think a lot of men they just like I'm married now. Let me get fat and just sit around the house because I'm married and I don't have to worry about that part of my life. Whereas I'm saying I'm married and I'm happy, so I'm not. I would never search for external or like other things. So I'm just saying you accept me for who I am. You like me for who I am. I hope if not, still not changing, (laughs) not changing, Um, but find a wife who who will clean the eye crusties out of your eyes. Okay. Thumbs up on that. Ew. Um, But I I just like who I am. I'm not perfect. Like I said, I'm bald, great, whatever, all these wrinkles coming in, don't care. I wake up and I'm like, I like this guy. I got one body to live in. I'm okay with that. I work really hard to, to stay in good shape to have a good mental uh, outlook on things. Mm -hmm. And that's a very big deal. So when people on Instagram, if they comment or Facebook or YouTube or whatever, and they don't like me, that's totally fine. I mean, sometimes I don't mince words. I go, I don't like you either. (laughs) Otherwise, I'm like, I agree with you. I'm like, I don't like me either. So it it depends on the day. But what I'm really saying is it doesn't affect me at all. Yeah, (laughs) I can can shut that laptop and I can go do something else. That's the biggest thing. It's like, cool. I'm done after after even if we had a disagreement on Instagram and I quote unquote clap back once I click my phone screen off I'm like okay <laughs> they're going on like I am not sitting in wallow about yeah. whatever you just said